welcome to edupedia world in this video we will learn regarding human capital and economic growth we have already discussed about human capital in our previous slides now we will learn about economic growth economic growth means the increase in real national income of a country the contribution of an educated person to the economic growth is more than that of an illiterate person Similarly a healthy person can contribute to economic growth by providing uninterrupted labor supply for a longer period of time thus both education and health along with many other factors like on the job training job market information and migration increase the income generating capacity of an individual hcf that is human capital formation promotes inventions innovations and technological improvements hcf not only increases the productivity of human resources but also stimulates innovations and create ability to absorb new technologies education provides knowledge to understand changes in society and scientific advancements which facilitates inventions and innovations similarly the availability of educated labor force facilitates adaptation to new technologies difficult to prove cause and effect relations between human capital and economic growth due to measurement problems it is difficult to prove that increase in human capital causes economic growth for example education measured in terms of years of schooling teacher pupil ratio and enrollment rates may not reflect the quality of education similarly health services measured in monetary terms life expectancy and mortality rates may not reflect the true health status of the people in a country it means it is difficult to establish a relation of cause and effect from the growth of human capital to economic growth however growth in each sector has reinforced the growth of every other sector the relationship between human capital and economic growth flows in either directions higher income causes building of higher level of capital that is human capital and high level of human capital causes growth of income so we can say that these are the relationship between human capital and economic growth now we come to development indicators in education and health sectors to understand this topic let us analyze some of the indicators of development in education and health sector with the help of this following table as you can see in the table uh, which is from year 1951 to 2011 which shows the development in education and health sector first we see the real per capita income which is in rupees in 1951 it was 3687 which grows up to 54835 in 2011 next we come to death rate that is per thousand population in 1951 it's around 25 and in 2011 it came down to 7 infant mortality rate in 1941 it was 146 and in 2011 it came down to 44 these are regarding the health sectors life expectancy of males at birth in years in 1951 it was 37 and in 2011 came up to 64 and life expectancy of females at birth in 1951 it was only 36 now it came up to 67 in 2011 and last we come to the literacy rate which are in percentage form in 1951 literacy rate was only 18% which came to 74.04% in 2011 so the analysis of the indicators mentioned in the table shows that the human capital growth as shown by improvement in education health sector in developing countries has been faster 
but the growth of per capita real income has not been that fast regarding the health sector now we come to the report by deutsche bank and world bank regarding indian economy Two independent reports on the Indian economy have identified that India would grow faster due to its strength in human capital formation. First we will discuss report by Deutsche Bank. The Deutsche Bank that is a German bank in its report on global growth centers identified that India will emerge as one among four major growth centers in the world by the year 2020. it further states that human capital is the most important factor of production in today's economies increase in human capital is crucial to achieve increase in gdp with reference to india it states that between 2005 and 2020 a 40% rise in the average years of education in india is expected so these are the points which was discussed by the deutsche bank in its report now we will discuss report which is given by world bank the recent reports of world bank india and the knowledge economy leveraging strengths and opportunities states that india should make a transition transition means a change over to the knowledge economy if indian economy uses its knowledge effectively as used by ireland then its per capita income will increase from a little over $1000 in 2002 to $3000 in 2020 the report further states that the indian economy has all the key ingredients for making this transition it has large number of skilled workers a well functioning democracy and a diversified science and technology infrastructure thus by the above two reports we can say that the further human capital formation in india will move its economy to a higher growth path india recognized the importance of human capital in economic growth long ago according to seventh five year plan human capital must be assigned a key role in any development strategy particularly in a country with a large population trained and educated population can become an asset in accelerating economic growth and in ensuring social change in desired directions this statement can be justified with the following example we take the example of indian software industry which has been showing an impressive record over the past decade entrepreneurs bureaucrats and politicians are now advancing views about how india can transform itself into a knowledge based economy by using information technology that is it likewise e governance is being projected as the way of the future the value of it depends greatly on the existing level of economic development it can make existing assets and processes more effective and efficient however for this basic infrastructure needs to be developed so by it example we can say that trained and educated population can become an asset in accelerating economic growth thank you for watching edupedia world videos